How's your wound doing? Don't worry, I'm fine. May I ask what you're planning to do with all that wool? Mind showing me a piece of your stock? I'd like to establish the quality before I make any promises. Come on, I need to check the quality. I won't take some without your permission. Hmm, not bad. That's quite some wool you've brought along. I hope you're not planning to set up shop here too. Meg would kill me if I let you. How would you stop me if I did? <clears throat> it's easy to ruin someone's reputation and much harder to restore. The guild has a way. They'd get rid of you and that pile in a jiffy. We came to sell this wool to you, not to compete with you. It comes from the shepherds near Huntley. They gave it to me so they wouldn't have to come here themselves. I see. All right, I'll give you a pound per sack for this. What? Uh, only a pound? Ah, that's a fair price. But I paid more for this. I'd sell at a loss. Hmm. How much did you pay? One and a half pounds per sack. It was almost all I had. The rest I had to spend on the cart and the toll at the gate. <sighs> then you let yourself be overcharged. What? I can't pay for your mistakes, can I? You have to handle that yourself. Ali, let me handle this. Your money would not only pay for the war, but also fund our fight to reclaim our earldom. If you pay us more, I shall never forget that courtesy, and will greatly repay you once I am back in charge of Shiring. I may even allow you sole access to our own wool production. That's a lofty promise. And it would hardly cost you. So, you two are the son and daughter of the Earl of Shiring? We are. But you're just children. We will make coin, and I will become a knight fighting for glory and honour until the king grants us back our noble inheritance. <sighs> that may all be very well, but I can't pay you more than what I already offered. Then I'll prove that the wool's quality is worth the price. Just let me look at it once more. <sighs> We've got to work out what signifies high quality. Maybe if we remember what the shepherd said. It's from a good breed of sheep, they said. What else? Um... And other wool looks greasy, not ours. It's dry, light and soft. The wool is pretty strong, too. It holds together well. That's all I remember. Yeah, me too. Have you thought it over? Wool is often full of grease and dirt. But this batch was scoured very thoroughly. It's very clean and soft. Hmm, even picky customers would be delighted. That is true. In this weather, some cartloads of wool would arrive damp. I made sure that this is dry and undamaged. It's light and easy to transport. Hmm, and customers are hesitant to buy wet wool. 
Some sheep produce brittle fibre, but this wool is strong. Its sheep had good, healthy lives. Mm hmm, that's suitable for finer and durable fabrics. All right, what pricing did you have in mind? Two pounds per sack. Are you insane? That's a little too much. I'd hardly pay that much for a golden fleece. One pound and ten shilling per sack, then. <sighs> well, tell you what, I'll give you one and a quarter pounds for every sack. You've brought up some good arguments. Your wool is exquisite. Of course it is. Ah, uh, but not a penny more. All right? Yes, agreed. One and a quarter pounds it is. Very good. Just so you know, if my mistress gets angry, I'll have you tell her the same things you told me. Thank you for your business. We've done it, Ali. Well, we still sold at a loss of 60 pence, but at least I negotiated a better price. I know why Meg likes you, Aliena. You're just as ruthless as her. Don't be so hard on yourself. My friend, Milius, says that a good bargain needs a lot of foresight and experience. Can I help you? Forgive me, I didn't mean to barge in, but... You are the Lady Aliena of Shiring, are you not? Yes, I am. And I'm Lord Richard, our Bartholomew's son. My name is Philip of Gwyneth. I am the prior of Kingsbridge. Ah, oh, I've heard of you. You helped a lot of people after the Hamleys attacked my father's castle. We only did what was right. I met your father. My father knew many people. Not all of them were his allies. I know. I'd like to invite you to come to Kingsbridge. Our own wool trade has fallen somewhat into neglect, God forgive, but we have plenty of sheep. I am sure we could come to an agreement. You want us to be merchants? But I sold at a loss. You wouldn't work for me. You would work with me. I can see that you are not afraid of hard work. I don't know a single novice who would have been willing to pull a cart like that on his own. You may have made losses, but that only means there is more to learn for you. My friend, Brother Milius, would be delighted to speak with you. He always goes to markets for our priory. What do you say? I'll consider it. Please, do consider my offer. You will be most welcome in Kingsbridge. It is the least I can do. Thank you, Father. Not much later, I found a home in Kingsbridge. I remember when I got there, there was Jack. You! I remember you! You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. And then the days just went by. Little did I know that the best and the worst was yet to come.